Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick and I'm a top author on TradingView with over 190k reputation points. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. This is the place to be for high quality free trading education. So without further ado, let's jump straight onto the chart. In this video, I will be speaking about Euro USD. Now, as usual, to keep the video as educational as possible, first I will be covering the technical aspect for this market. Then we will be moving to the order flow by looking at the commitment of traders. So this is COD data, which is what the non-commercials, so the biggest speculators in the market are doing, which are essentially hedge funds, so the big players in the market. And by the end of the video, by using a combination of these two different types of analysis, we will try to understand where we have the highest probability for the next potential move here for this pair. Now, starting here from the monthly time frame, what we can see is that we have a market which is currently testing a quite strong monthly demand and support area. In fact, from here, multiple rejections to the upside were created. And what we can see here is that every single time the market created quite strong rejections to the upside. What we can notice now is that the market is testing this exact same level, has already started rejecting it to the upside. And from here, we could expect more bullish continuation to be created away from this area. Dropping down on the weekly time frame, what do we see? Well, from a weekly standpoint, we can notice immediately that the market has just shifted from a weekly bearish market from a structure perspective to now having a weekly bullish market. In fact, clearly here we were having the creation of lower lows and lower highs. Then we had this horizontal accumulation and then the market shifted to creating higher highs and higher lows. So a clear shift from bearish to bullish here when it comes to the structure from a a weekly perspective. In fact, we can also notice how the market is currently testing and rejecting exactly the previous resistance turn support here. This was the previous level of weekly resistance from which this move to the downside was created. Now, this level has been broken to the upside. So this previous resistance is now turned support. The market is testing this level, rejecting it to the upside. And from here, we could expect more bullish continuation to be created away from this level. So also the weekly here seems quite bullish. Now, when it comes to the pattern, we can also notice that we have a clear impulse followed by this correction. And in general, after an impulse, if you want to measure the correction, what you have to do is take your Fibonacci from the low to the high of the impulse leg. And if we do that, we can see that the level that the market has retraced to is exactly the 0.786 of the Fibonacci taken on this weekly impulse leg, which was in perfect confluence with this previous resistance turn support, creating a confluence of support at this level that we did in fact expect this market to reject to the upside and from here we could expect more potential bullish continuation. Dropping down on the daily time frame, what do we see? Well, from a daily standpoint, I did speak about EURUSD just a few days ago after the creation of this M pattern. When the market was here, I explained all the reasons for which we could expect this rejection to the upside, which is exactly what the market gave us. And by the way, I will link in the description that previous analysis so you can go and check it out for more free education. And what we can notice after that is that we had a clear impulse correction and the market already started the continuation to the upside and also spoke about EURUSD after this impulse and correction explaining all the reasons for which from here we could expect the start of the continuation to the upside. And again, that is what the market gave us. However, it is now time to reevaluate the kind of structure that the market has provided. In fact, what we can notice is that we have a market which at the moment is testing exactly the previous daily high. Once the market has reached the previous daily high, you never know if you will have the creation of a double top or if you will have a break above the level. So before we continue with our analysis here from a daily perspective, by looking at the technicals, let's first go and see what we have when it comes to the commitment of traders, so the COT data, which is essentially what hedge funds, so the big players in the market are doing. Now, if we're checking the data for the euro, keep in mind that we are already checking the data for euro USD because all currencies on the spot are traded already against the USD. And what we can see here is that with the last reports, we went from 75.5K net positions 
all the way up to having 147.3K net positions. So we had a huge increase of the net positions, showing how longs went from 207.4K all the way up to 231.8K, and shorts got decreased from 132.8K all the way down to only 84.5K. So clearly, hedge funds have been increasing their longs and decreasing their shorts. That is what is happening from an institutional perspective here on EURUSD. Now, keeping that in mind that institutions are longing EURUSD and moving back to the technical side of the market, the area inside of which we have the highest probabilities of seeing more bullish continuation is this level here if we will see a shift from previous daily resistance to a daily support. Now, that would happen if we get a break above this level. In fact, if we get a break, this previous resistance would become support. And after the break, on the retest of the previous resistance turn support, that is where we would have good probabilities of seeing more institutional longing, which would at that point further increase the probabilities of a potential rejection to the upside away from this level. So until the market will remain below this resistance, it can easily get rejected lower. However, if we get a break above on the retest of the previous resistance turn support, how we could be approaching a potential move higher. Now, as usual, trading is reactive and not predictive. The monthly, weekly, and daily combined with the CO2 data, those are the best time frames from a directional perspective. However, when it comes to confirmations and entries, the best time frames are the intraday time frames, so for our and lower. Therefore, potentially, what I could be doing is monitoring price action from an intraday perspective during this move to the down side waiting for the market to shift from an intraday bearish market as we would have to an intraday bullish market. And if the market would shift from an intraday bearish to bullish market and provide to me one of my valid entries at that point, I could be looking for a potential move higher for the market to complete this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside. Now, if you don't know what I'm speaking about when I say valid entries and these kind of things, you want to learn more, I really suggest that you go and check out the transparentfxtrading.com website which you find linked both in the description and in my bio. Here, you have the possibility to gain access to my entire courses with all the rules of the strategies. You also have the possibility to gain access to one-on-one -on -one private mentoring, the VIP market breakdowns, the telegram signals, the CO2 data software, which is precisely the one that we used in this analysis, the trading station software, which puts together everything that you need as a trader all in one interface. And if you scroll lower here, Past the testimonials, you will see that you will have the possibility to join and gain automatically access with the email and password that you will create during the sign up process. So, I really suggest that you go and check it out as soon as possible, and I will see you in it. The link is both in the description and in my bio. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. Also, if you have any suggestions on any topics or pairs that you would like me to cover in the next videos, make sure to drop them in the comments below, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.